Hi all, welcome to my YouTube channel where I show you British uh, Indian restaurant cooking um, and how things are done behind the scenes, how things are pre-cooked. Um, so we're going to make today the pre-cooked dal, which is the lentils. So that will go in a dan sack, taka dal, which is a very popular side, dal soup. Uh, very healthy for you, very good in protein, uh, very good uh, for, uh, for vegan dishes. Um, so pre-cooked dal, what do we need? 150 grams of red split lentils. I think that will do about four or five portions. I'm, I'm a bit unsure because we normally make 20 times that. So I'm making a small amount batch for the viewers to, uh, to make at home. Uh, half a pint of water. We might need a bit more or a bit less. I'm not fully sure yet. Uh, two teaspoons of garlic and ginger paste. Um, one teaspoon of ha ha holdi turmeric um, spice. Half a teaspoon of salt two teaspoons of oil. We're probably going to need another two teaspoons of oil actually after. Um, one sprinkle of uh, garam masala, one garlic clove cut up. Okay, so we're first going to start. This is the red split lentil um, and I've washed it a few times. Just wash it out, clean it up a little bit. Um, so we've got that in there first. So I have my half pint of water. You may need to add some later. If you put too much, it'll be very runny. So just kind of like put a half, I've put a quarter of a pint. I may need some later, so I'm gonna keep that there. Just so it's covering uh, the, the lentils. Um, then you have your garlic and ginger. I've put two teaspoons, but I think one teaspoon for this amount, one and a half, will cover it, I think. Uh, then you have your salt, I think half a teaspoon, or even a quarter of a teaspoon would probably do it, I think. Quarter of a teaspoon. And then you have your ha ha holdi, uh, one teaspoon. Oh, I think even three, half or three quarter of a teaspoon is plenty. I think half is ample there. Ham half. And then you've got oil. One, two, you could probably put about three teaspoons, I'd say, for that now. And then you mix it. Um, mix it around. So then you have a sprinkle of your garam masala, just a sprinkle. It's very, very strong. And you don't want to discolour the dial either. Um, garam masala is mainly for the smell, so that's boiling already. So you could put a, a, a lid on it, that will cook a little bit faster, or you don't really have to put a lid. Um, that's cooking already. That's cooking very fast. The dial is starting to cook, if you can see it, it's starting to, the uh, it's a bit lentil starts to pop up. Start. So just stir it occasionally, let it cook. If it's drying out, add a little bit more water, um, but don't go too crazy on the water, otherwise it'd just be very, very runny. You want it thick. Normally you serve it a little bit runny, like the dal soup or taco dal, they'll be runny, but when you pre-cook it, you need it thick. And you'll understand why on the next few videos. Okay, so that's cooking very fast, can you see? I'm just drying the, um, the water out here. It's very yellow. So I'm just going to add a bit more. So I've added the, the rest of the... Um, half pint so that is a full um, that is a full um, half pint now so it just depends on um, how your dial is cooking how much you need water wise you can of course with this you can make the a taka dial or a, a dal soup straight from this but I'm, I'm pre-cooking it for the dan sacks, for like how restaurants would pre-cook it so they're ready when an order comes. Um, and then later on I might show you some videos on how to do it straight. So if you're at home and you know, 
we just want to cook a type of dal today. You can make it straight without pre-cooking. It may look like I may need more water. But at the moment it's okay. Can you see it? It's beautifully, beautifully bubbling up. I would eat a lot of dal. Um, it's quite healthy for you. High in protein. Um, with sort of boiled rice. It's, it's, it's you know, it's, it's very good for you. Um, and dal is is across everywhere. India, Pakistan, Bangladesh. They're all um, they're all very universal in dal. Their curries differ a lot, but their dal. Is, is just across that Asian um, area. It's, it's, it's very, very, very popular. Okay, so it looks like I may need more water. I'm just gonna add a tad more. Looks like it's nearly done. Can you see the dial is cooking now? Can you see it's, 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 it's the red split lentil is starting to, starting to cook out. I'm going to taste the slight bit to make sure the salt is... You don't want it too salty because you will put salt in there afterwards. So it's important to not overkill the, the salt. That's fine. It's, it's a little bit bland. It's not as salt. But like I said, when you cook it in the next few steps, you will make salt. You will put more salt in there. That looks like that's nearly done. It's just quite quick, and once you know, it's quite easy and quick to do. You know, I've been doing this, been cooking this for about seven minutes, eight minutes, and it's it's, it's done really. It's not far. So, like I said, if you were going to do this like a dial straight away, you'd add a bit more salt, put more, a bit more water, and make it runny. Um, this looks like it will do about four portions. Four portions. Four, three portions somewhere. Okay. That looks now done. Can you see it? It's so it's cooked out. It's gone quite thin. You don't want it too runny. You want to cook it a bit more later. You want a bit thick as well because a dansack will you want to cook it and be thicker. Right. So I'm just going to remove that. I'm going to show you the next step. Right, so you get a non stick pan, um, and you get a little bit of oil. Your non stick pan, just put a little bit of oil, oil in there. You've got about a clove or a clove and a half. I don't think I'm going to use all of this. Um, you just uh, just chopped garlic into small bits. Um, I don't think I'm needing all of that for the amount I've got there. Just to test that oil is hot, you can sort of put one in. Can you see it's starting to bubble? So that's ready. Um, just put about one clove, I'd say, roughly. Can you see it's just starting to bubble? Once it starts going slightly red, you see it's starting to cook, then you just put it in your dye as so. And the 
then just mix it in the top. Yeah, that'll do about three portions. I'd say about three, not quite four. Um, there you have it. That's your pre-cooked dough. So it's thick. Normally you wouldn't have it, you wouldn't get it that thick in the restaurant, but then later on when we do make the, the dye, we will add water to it. 